right. All right, letting the light in. Um, cool. And hey everybody, this is going to be day nine of March meditation, just waiting for Siri to come on in. And let's see. Hey, Siri. Hi. How, how are you? Good. How I'm are great. you? I'm great. It's good to see you. Thank you. It says I must rotate my phone in order to oh, okay. join. What? So is your phone on? Yeah, mine's sideways. Um, I, I see you. Okay. Okay, good. Let me just get one more thing okay. to prop this up with. Great. Okay. Okay. And I'm just going to share this in. In my groups, okay. you wanna you can I guess share it to your group so your or or your people probably are seeing it. Um, cool. And yeah, I'm not used to doing this. I'll I'll probably share it to my groups okay, later. Cool. Okay. Cool. Let's see. Maybe I can figure it out. Well, I shared it. Oh, I see. Yeah. Hey, cool. Julie Greer. I see you watching. <laughs> um, yeah, it's taken me, uh, you know, I'm nine days in on this, so, so I'm, I'm getting the hang of it. <laughs> it just took a minute. There's a lot of little, you know, intricacy here. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, awesome. So let me, I'll just, I'll just introduce what we're doing. This is uh, day nine of March meditation. I'm Matthew Solomon, uh, coach with MatthewSolomon.com. And I'm, I'm committed to doing uh, a daily meditation every day in March, just to, you know, to show how easy and accessible and beneficial meditation is. And, and so one of the things that I'm doing is I'm bringing on friends like, like Siri, whom I mean, we've known each other, I think, like, 15 years or something, probably something like that. <laughs> um, you know, just bringing you on to, to share, you know, different styles of meditation, different approaches, you know, cause different things resonate with different people and there's always just new, new ways to approach things. And so I want to thank you for taking the time to, to be here with me. I know you, you do a lot of healing in different modalities and, and I've had the benefit of working with you in that capacity, which has been awesome. Um, and so I'd love to, you know, if you would just, uh, Hey, Ashley, uh, if you would just, you know, share who you are, what you do and what we're going to do today. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm Siri Baruch Thornton and I'm a Reiki master of masters, which means I teach all levels up to master level. I've been teaching for over 16 years. I've been practicing Reiki professionally for over 20 years um, all over the world. I do sessions online now. I do sacred trainings online of Reiki. So if you don't have your certifications yet, any of the levels and you want to learn, I'm here. Um, and I also, in the past couple of years, started doing call, what's called Akashic Record Reading. Mm -hmm. So that's what Matthew and I did recently. And I am going to share with you guys today a little bit of um, the groundwork, the basics of what is what I'd use for anything, whether it's Reiki or whether it's Akashic Record Reading or just in your daily life that helps you to be in present time and release anything not serving you. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Cool. Let's... Uh... Or we're, well, yeah, so let's I, jump in, but we where, where can people reach you? I mean, I'll, I'll post your information, you know, in the, in the title and everything. But. Yeah, so, um, so any number of ways. 
Um, on my Facebook page, my personal Facebook page, I have a big city Reiki mm -hmm. page for Reiki. I have an Akashic Record reading with Siri page. Um, email Siri Baruch at gmail.com. Um, 310741 2076. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you want to text me? Um, whatever awesome. works. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Well, cool. Let's, uh, let's, let's do it. Okay. So go ahead, if you will, close your eyes. And start to drop into this new space, this new moment in time. And just starting to notice your breath. Notice the difference in quality between taking a breath and giving yourself a breath. Feeling your chest rise and fall with each new breath. Honoring, acknowledging, and validating yourself for taking this time for your body your mind, your spirit, your soul. And knowing that this is a very generous act because all those connected to you get to receive a ripple effect of your healing. And as you continue to give yourself these deep breaths, honoring, acknowledging, validating yourself, imagining, if you will, at the base of your spine, a disc of white light, and then giving yourself the deepest breath you've given yourself all day. And that white light is allowed to expand all the way out to the width of your hips. And from this expansion, a conduit, like a big sequoia tree going all the way down, 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 down to the core of the earth. You can let it wrap around the core of the earth. You can give it a tug, make sure it's secure. And then anything not serving you, not serving your highest self in present time, any thoughts, fears, emotions, concerns about the past or the future, you can simply allow to be sucked down this conduit and recycled into the core of the earth. Good job. Nice deep cleansing breath. And anything residual, not serving you in present time, keeping in mind that anything that is truly yours cannot be gotten rid of. You can also allow to be sucked down this conduit. Recycled and transmuted into the core of the earth, thanking the earth for taking this unneeded energy. And nice deep cleansing breath. Imagining, if you will, at the base of your feet are cones. And these cones are allowed to open up and receive in earth energy, whatever earth energy looks like to you. And earth energy is allowed to flow up the base of your feet, ankles, shins and calves, knees and thighs, all the way up into that first chakra at the base of your spine. Good job. Imagining, if you will, cosmic energy, beautiful cosmic energy, whatever cosmic energy looks like to you. And cosmic energy is allowed to flow down your crown, your third eye, your throat, and splits into four channels, two on either side of your spine. And these channels allow in this cosmic energy all the way down your back into that first chakra at the base of your spine. Good. And about 85% cosmic energy, the rest earth energy are allowed to mix in the first chakra and mixture of earth and cosmic energies can flow up the front two channels up your root, sacral, solar plexus, heart, throat, third eye, and finally out your crown. 
And as this mixture of earth and cosmic energies fountains out your crown, it turns to gold. And golden energy falls over the seven layers of your energetic field, all the way down around your body and gently tucks under your feet. So you're entirely encompassed in this golden energy. Good. And then if you'd like, about a foot above your head, big golden ball of validating energy. It says your name inside of it. See your name inside of it. And beautiful, gorgeous, golden, validating energy flows down your crown, your third eye, your throat, into your heart, all the way down the extension of your heart into your arms, elbows, wrists, hands, fingertips, down your solar plexus, sacral root, and all the way down the extension of your root into your thighs, knees, shins, calves, ankles, feet, and toes. So you're entirely filled in with this golden validating energy. And as each cell touches another cell, it turns to gold. And then if you'd like, you can set an intention of whatever you're wanting to create for the next few days of healing, knowing you have the ability to manifest whatever you're wanting and needing. And then whatever guardian angels, masters, guides, positive energetic forces, Whatever is for your highest and best good, you can invite into your space. And so from here, you can gently just start to open your eyes, start to come back the space where we are. Mm. Yeah. So how is that feeling since I don't know anyone else who's <laughs> here with us? How's that feeling for yeah, you, It Matthew? feels great. And actually, anybody who's watching here on the replay, you can, you know, put, put in the comments how, how that was for you as well. Um, yeah. That was, I mean, it was awesome. I, I feel, you know, just really grounded and open. Um. You know, it's like, um, even though I'm rooted, I'm out. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It, it's very yeah. Ex expansive and inclusive. And um, something about seeing my name. So I, I like it. Yeah. Oh, just Sorry, like something about seeing my name in that golden light was, was really powerful, you know? Mm. Yeah, so I liken what we were just doing to plugging your cell phone into the wall. Mm. It's running your, so you're grounding yourself, you're running your energy, and then, and you're charging yeah. yourself. You're charging yourself with that infinite, unending, golden life force energy. But the basis, I think, of any sort of spiritual practice or just being, um, you know, at your optimum for anything you're doing in your life. Like I was thinking about when we were um, doing running the energy just now, I was thinking about how wonderful if everyone like lawyers and mm -hmm. writers and actors and anyone who has to go into a room and perform, yeah. you know, before doing that, if you can be running your energy and plugging in, because also a lot of us, and it's probably the people that are, are, are tuning into this, are people that are very sensitive, mm -hmm. are people that are very um, uh, much, of in, not intentionally, but absorbing yeah. Yeah. other people's energy throughout mm -hmm. the day. And especially like if you're an actor and you're sitting in a, a waiting room with other actors and they're nervous. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's like, how do you not? take on or whatever they just had a fight mm -hmm. you know um with any situation um that you have to go in and present or just before you go into your house and be present with your yeah. partner or with your children like how do you call back your energy mm -hmm. that 
because most of my clients talk about that they're just so affected yeah. and you know me included us included like so affected by everybody else's energies and also like social mm -hmm. media like that takes on an energy of its own too so if we cannot if we can have a way and it's different for everyone but here's one other way to come back to source energy but also like you were saying like feeling what it felt like to have imagine your name in that yeah. ball of energy it's like that's you calling back your like that's matthew energy so it's not just about where can i draw energy from wherever i can mm -hmm. find it it's like my special yeah. everyone has their own vibration and their own energy that they can call back and um and then like also included in that is whatever is not serving me past or future thoughts ideas concerns energies and the the earth will just mm -hmm. take it if you just give it and it's there's no effort involved in any of it yeah uh -huh. you know that's that's one of the best parts and i mean and, and what yeah well, I was going to No, I was just going to say, I mean, when you're first practicing or you're doing something live and like, yeah, so there might be the, the effort of that, but it, ideally there's, there's just, it's just, it's just mm -hmm. automatic. As soon as like people, because people say like, oh, I don't know if I'm doing it right. Or I don't know if I'm grounded. Um, and, and it's just, you just think big sequoia tree and mm -hmm. there it is that's all you know it's it doesn't it's not magic in terms of like you have to have the certain right perfect way right. of doing it it's just, just think i'm gonna ground now and yeah. there it is yeah i mean you know honestly yeah. one of the most empowering things for me with meditation and the work i've been doing in the last six months to a year has been getting I am the source, you know, I, and, and that can be, you know, it's di different for every, you know, whether it's, you know, God is the source of the universe or, you know, how, however we're connected, we're all connected. We're all part of this thing. So, you know, for me, it works that I'm, I'm the source and I can generate whatever I need to. And from there, yeah, it's like, you know, the, the, oak, the sequoia tree, you know, I, it's, it's like a muscle memory thing. It's like, once I tap into that, yeah. I can go back to that. Yeah. And exactly. Yeah. And, and, you know, a lot of times, you know, when I do these videos or I post other videos, I'll do it. And there's so much energy that gets kicked out that like, I'm exhausted for a minute, you know, and I just need to like stop and regroup and, and let, let everything kind of come back in, you know, and then it recharges, yeah. you know, if, if I let myself do it, it recharges. And, and some of that's adrenaline also, you know, but it's, but it's energy mm -hmm. and, and being able to like, get, yeah. you know, get back and get focused and get centered is, has been amazing. And it's, you know, a big part of why I wanted to share this kind of thing, you know, with everybody. Um, what are your, um, what, like, tell me if yeah. it's okay, tell, will you tell me about like your clients mm -hmm. and your, and you know, like, how are you helping them and what's that looking like? Cause I'm Yeah. Curious. I mean, it's. So my coaching practice, I'm a filmmaker, you know, I'm a writer and director and yeah. uh, I've been an actor yeah. for years and, yeah. and I've always been that friend that people come to. I've studied metaphysics and religion and, you know, um, different, you know, every empowerment thing you can think of, you know, I've, I've done it mm -hmm. yeah. and I coached inside of some of those programs. So I learned how to coach people inside of the, the context of whatever program I was in. And so did you do yeah, Landmark? I, did Landmark. I was an introduction mm -hmm. leader for Landmark mm -hmm. and I worked with the family division. Mm -hmm. So I was coaching young people and teens, which, which really became wow. my passion because man, you know, it's like the, what they are dealing with and mm -hmm. getting, you know, their whole world is, they, they don't have the perspective like, like there was this one girl who, you know, was 16 and was in tears because she didn't know what college she wanted to go to 
two years yeah. later, two years down the road. And for me, yeah. as a you know, 40 something year old father at that point, it was like, what are you worried about? You got two years, everything's gonna be fine. But that's not where she was at. For her, that, right. was, that was her whole yeah. world. And for me to, that's her world. to yeah. not be a parent, but you know, as an equal, get that that's what she was dealing with, gave her all the space in the world to be okay with that and to, and to find for herself what she needed. And so out of that, and out of that experience and a, a bunch of other experiences like that, I learned to coach <laughs> and, li and, you know, from listening. And so how, how, how old is your oldest? She's 13 now. She just turned 13. And then my boys are 10, you know, so I, yeah. Wow. Um, and, yeah. So you're really yeah. in it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Coaching and they're them. all three very different. They all three have very different, yeah. I don't like to say issues, but, you know, challenges that, that they're all challenges. dealing with. You know, whether, you know, social, yeah. academic, social and academic and hormones and, you know, <laughs> teenage stuff yeah. and friends and bullying and, you know, it's like, holy yeah. shit. So, yeah, the meditation for me has been crucial. And so my coaching came from meditation last summer where it just, I was sitting quietly meditating and it just hit me, boom, you know a lot of shit about a lot of shit and you should be putting yourself out there helping people. And so I did. And yeah. so, you know, I signed a one-on-one -on -one client right away. And then a few months later, um, I was inspired to, to do a group program on communication because, you know, being on social media, yeah. being you know, social justice is very important to me with, you know, how I grew up and who I grew up with. And just like one of the most important things for me is that people feel understood. And what I was seeing consistently mm -hmm. was people weren't trying to understand, they were just debating. And so, mm -hmm. and so I did a group mm -hmm. program on communication and the, the people in that group, when that was done, they're like, what's next? They're like, what do you want? They're like, we want to love ourselves more. So I did a program on loving yourself. <laughs> and now I'm doing a program on doing whatever you want. And so, you know, my clients in the group have gone from, you know, various levels of closed off and, and having a bunch of reasons not to be out there living their lives, you know, doing things that make them happy to taking trips by themselves, going on cruises, asking people out on dates. Nice. Um, uh, nice. I have, you know, this one client, um, just, just amazing. Like, you know, going from, you know, ground zero to like being lit up with joy and tears Blossoming. in their eyes. And, you know, it's like every call Aww. is like, holy shit, these people are like on on a whole other level and it's it's been awesome so you know while i i can coach people on career and relationships and communication what what happens is the people that i work with are happy and fulfilled and lit up and they're doing things they never thought they would be able to do didn't even think about that. did you know you were going to be doing this type no. of work no <laughs> No. Yeah. yeah, but here you are, like answering the yeah. call. Yeah, and you know when I would do interviews yeah. for my movies, I would always inject some sort of empowerment, transformational stuff because that's who I am. But I, yeah, I didn't, you know, and and I, I like my parents are retired school teachers, and my sister's a teacher, and I was like, I'm not a teacher, but it's, you know, it's, it's in, in you, <laughs> it's in the blood. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 So that's that's yeah. been. My, my journey. Thank, thank you for asking. <laughs> yeah, I'm very curious because I've been following since your first mm. post and seeing your journey and your videos. And I'm like, Oh, that's cool. Like he's, um, and I like, um, your approach I find to be unique because of like the language you use and the way you're just very authentic and like simple mm -hmm. about it. And, and it's not, it's just like, like, I think you curse in yeah. a lot of your, yeah, I like, I like, I like how real. Okay. It is. Yeah. Thank you. 
like what is it what am i thinking of the be fucking real or what, which... what do you say in um what is one of your oh, one of your oh, courses love the fuck out of yourself or do whatever yes! the fuck you want yeah <laughs> No, I, I, I think that you're very unique in your approach. And also because I don't have, I have a ton of women, co- like most of my clients mm-hmm. are women and they're coaches. Yeah. And, but I don't really, I know like maybe one other male coach. Okay. So I like that too. Cause I feel like, um, that offers something different, Mm -hmm. you know, um, that makes you stand out is, um, the fact that you're a guy, but that you're, you're authentic and you're, um, I feel like someone I can Mm. trust. Yeah. You know, like, uh, kind of, what am I trying to say? Like, um, very relatable. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It's, I mean, it definitely, um, healing is something I'm very passionate about, whether it's women in relation to men, men in relation to women. Um, you know, I, I, I've been thinking a lot about, you know, the, the school shootings and all of that stuff and the, the mindset, yeah, I was that, wondering. That, you know, these kids must mm-hmm. be in to, you know, to have that be an option. Um, and, and, you know, dealing with that and it's, you know, it's like, you know, so the, the meditation work that you're sharing is so important. Yeah. And the work that you're doing in terms of how it's affecting your children to be able to have tools yeah, to have tools to, to communicate and to talk about their feelings in a safe way and to say what, they need and want and learn how to ground and learn how to mm-hmm. meditate. And like, I see that more and more of meditation becoming part of school. Yeah, I think it's crucial. How important this is. Like, if we can teach, because I have, you know, uh, almost three year old yeah. and an almost yeah, yeah. five year old. And if I can start to teach them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And ingrain, you know, they're they'll come over and like pull an angel card and, or a power uh-huh. animal card and read and read it, you know? So I think it's, you know, and that's how I learned. And you talk about your family being teachers and how that's ingrained yeah. in you. Like, and I learned because my mom was a teacher, was a Reiki oh, yeah. teacher. And so that just, it, whether I liked <laughs> it or not, it just became, yeah, yeah. you know, like at first I didn't want to be the Reiki guinea mm-hmm. pig and I didn't, know what was going on and I was not so into it. But then once I came around to it and I find as I get older, my work is more and more and more me embodying everything I've learned from my mother. Wow. Wow, You know? Um, So we don't even realize necessarily what a profound effect that we're having on our Mm -hmm. own kids. (laughs) <laughs> in terms of teaching them these skills yeah. I, I worry about yeah. the negative stuff the, those effects but, I do too the, I do too stuff. yeah totally yeah <laughs> yeah how am I scarring yeah. them <laughs> yeah yeah it's like oh yeah. that's gonna take a few years of therapy but you know <laughs> yeah. um but it, yeah anyway. yeah cool thank you all right so thank you sorry I'll let you close no, this, up. Is, this was great. I'm glad we got into this conversation further, actually, too. Um, thank yeah. you so much. If you would, just uh, where, where can people reach you again? And I know, so you do Reiki healing, you teach Reiki, you Akashic mm-hmm. Records. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I teach all levels of Reiki, first degree Reiki, second degree Reiki, master level Reiki. I do private in-person Reiki sessions um, at my office in Chatsworth. Mm. I'm on Yelp, so you can look at all my reviews on Yelp. There's, like, over 100 cool. reviews. They're all five-star. Yeah. Very proud of that. Um, and um, and then for – yeah, and so my classes are also taught in Chatsworth in the Valley of L.A. 
But the new thing that I've started doing is teaching Reiki, sacred Reiki certifications online, mm. live. Oh, so cool. That's, that's right. been going really yeah. well and really exciting because it opens up all these, these clients who are like, well, I don't know when I'm going to be in LA, but now we're, we can do it together here. And I wasn't sure how it was going to go because there's a whole sacred tradition that you pass down mm -hmm. and you know, it's, it's, it's very important. And I wanted to honor the integrity of it and it, and it was very powerful and it works and it's working. So that's exciting. And then the Akashic yeah. record reading, like you and I did over the phone, those are all over yeah. the phone. Cause it's nice to have an, um, like a privacy to mm -hmm. that. People feel like a little bit more brave if, if we don't even do the video, Yeah. Okay. you know? So, um, cause your eyes are closed the mm -hmm. whole time anyway. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, and, and maybe sometime we can talk about what Akashic Record reading is. Yeah, I mean, if you want to, if you want to, like, I was going to ask, if you have time, time, we can, yeah, you go want for to it. Now, sure. talk about now? Um, yeah, so it's, it's actually really funky to talk about because it's very esoteric, it's very, ether it's very much etheric, it's very hard to it's like the unseen mm -hmm. you know it's the infinite wisdom there's a plasma of energy around everything and so within that there's information that's stored mm -hmm. records that are stored of vibration so you know like if you were just the way that we're on camera here and it's making a record. Imagine if there were cameras over and around every living object that's creating a record. Like everything's mm. live. Yeah. Everything's on Facebook yeah. Live at all times. From the beginning of time, if you can think of that. So there's a, you know, I use the, the grounding tool that we just did, but then there's a, a prayer, an opening prayer, which I use. And there's different Akashic opening prayers, depending on who you've trained with and what, you know, resonates with you. But so then there's the prayer and that sets the intention and that opens this mm. realm of wisdom. And specifically to the person that, and I see Layla and I, I've given her a reading. So hi, Layla. Um, so specifically to the person, the vibration of that person's current legal name. So, so I say their whole current mm -hmm. legal name, including like if they have a middle name or some people have four or five yeah. names, um, you, you use the whole name and that has its own Akasha, own information, own records. So it's, and they call it like, people say like it's the library. Yeah. But it's not, you know, a literal library. Mm -hmm. It's like as if today you would type into Google. Mm. You would do a Google search. Back then it was like we had, you know, it was more of a yeah. library analogy. But now it's like, so I, so if I typed in Matthew Solomon into Google, then I'm going to be able to ask specific questions. Ask Siri. I'm going to ask specific <laughs> yeah. questions. I know, I don't want <laughs> about you know, your life could be present, past, future. Like how karmic is it that, you know, Siri ended know, up right? being yeah. what it, here I am doing a Kashi yeah. greeting, but <laughs> it is like that. It is like, it's, it is like, you know, just asking Google anything you want. Mm. And there's nothing, it's not like psychic reading, although that I would say is like the thing that you could most easily go, oh yeah, that's what, you know, she's talking yeah. about. Um, be it's much more like soul guidance. Like you receive soul level truth mm. about anything. And so a lot of times it, what is happening in the future is very much influenced, not only from our past yeah. in this lifetime, but from our past in oh, yeah. all of our lifetimes. And that might go back to the beginning of time, depending on how old of a soul yeah. you are. And so, you know, you're, you're like, why am I having such a crazy reaction? Or why am I so triggered by a specific person mm -hmm. or a specific circumstance? 
it might not just be because of that thing that happened when you were two. It might also be because of the past life that you had. Um, And it's not that we have to sit and pick apart that past life and get into it and feel into it and talk about Mm -hmm. it for hours. It's not about that. It's not even about having to like some, you know, Edgar Casey got really specific, really, but like, it's to me for the work I'm doing right now, it's really just about bringing some consciousness and awareness to even the fact that you had a past life can be so healing to say, oh, that's because I was an orphan in one of my past lives. So that's why I'm so triggered by feeling abandoned. Mm-hmm. And and then all of a sudden it's like updating, yeah, updating, like updating, updating the records. Up and, yeah, yeah. And, and so just one little, and then we use spiritual tools to release those stuck energies from those past lives and then also and this is kind of get it gets a little taps into a little bit of landmark stuff is like also stuff that stories that we yeah. told ourselves that we then also project into our future because yeah. we all naturally just go well if it's always been like that in my past so i'm gonna flop that yeah. into my future and so that means that i'll be this way in the future and so anything that they've consciously that you've consciously or unconsciously projected out into your future you can then clear as well so consciousness of what's happened in the past combined with clearing what possibilities you've laid out for yourself in Mm -hmm. the future clearing all of that then that's updating your akashic records and there's kind of just one little thing is there's this misconception that people think well, if I've had an Akashic record reading once, then I've done it. And I, and then like, that's it and case mm-hmm. closed. But really, um, you can open and you know, I, I teach people how to open their own records is you can open your records every yeah. day and see what's going on there for you and get tap into wisdom or see what's old and not, not serving you in present time and clear it. Mm-hmm. And, and like, update just like you would brush yeah. your teeth you know yeah well there's i mean yeah there's just so so many layers i mean even you know the work i've done and done on myself and even you know knowing that there are stories and so just even hearing oh this was something from you know two lifetimes ago just hearing those words can have everything like line up and be like oh, okay cool I, it's coming from somewhere <laughs> You know, just knowing that it's coming from somewhere. <laughs> and and then, um, yeah, you know, like the, the I forgot the other thing I was going to say. But yeah, yeah, it's like just that, that little thing. About past and future and putting your past into yeah, the future? Yeah, yeah, there was something, um, there was something there. And clearing that or? Uh, yeah, I don't know. It'll, it'll come back. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah there was there was something yeah so i was just because i was just saying that there's this misconception that if you've done something oh that's what it is yeah there's layers to it so even in this lifetime like i know that you know this thing that happened to me in third grade affected you know my relationships you know with with girls and women to an extent but then yeah you know but there was also this thing that happened when i was 13 you know yeah. with you know with my mom and then this thing you know with my dad when I was yeah. 13 you know and so they're just like different pieces of the puzzle that like you said you don't necessarily have to like go in and I mean although sometimes you do have to go in and do the deep dark stuff and then sometimes just knowing mm-hmm. that oh fuck that's right that thing <laughs> well you know? yeah so there's a there's a spiritual tool that that I use when we're in the Akashic Records and I think we did it. Did we blow, did we blow roses? Um, I don't remember. It was, it was, it was, yeah. Um, so I'd have to look in your uh-huh. file, but, um, so, so there's a way yeah. to, without getting all deep into it and talking about it for hours <laughs> to just give it a color. Uh-huh. Did we do that? I don't remember. 
that you just give it a color, whatever the emotion, right? Because it just gets stored yeah, as emotion. Yeah. Whatever that emotion is that matches from that lifetime or that matches what you've projected forward or, you know, so from whatever you're experiencing now. So, so say for example, I'm angry. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I'm so angry about this thing. Okay. So let's give it a color. Okay. Yeah. Red First thing that's going to come to mind. Okay. Red anything and and the more specific the better so anything that's let's call it rust okay it's a, like a rusty rusty bloody red okay great so then anything that's rusty bloody red from my past lives without having to go mm -hmm. into them and get fine tooth combed with them like i just call it out mm -hmm. come on out and give it yeah. permission Okay, anything that I may have consciously or unconsciously projected out into my future that matches the rusty, bloody red, come mm. on out. And we put it in a rose. Yeah. And we give the, we give the rose a color. And then anything above you, below you, behind you, around yeah. you that matches that color. And so it's all like magically because it, you, can, you can call it out in that way drawn together you put it in the rose send the rose out over the ocean <sighs> blow it up and then anything that wasn't serving me anymore i shoot off down my grounding cord i fill in with a big golden golden sun and now i've completely updated my akashic mm. records meaning i can go forward with infinite possibility yeah. without having to be stuck or blocked. And you can do that with money stuff, you know, fears around, because maybe you made a vow in a past life to be a monk and you're not supposed to make money in that past life. So you, so we can create in the moment a new affirmation that releases that vow. Yeah. Yeah, I remember the rose thing now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah do it, all, you? it all came back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, um, also, what's interesting, what blows my mind is the whole thing of that life is, is there's not a beginning and an end, that everything's a continuum and that yeah. everything's happening at the same time. Mm hmm. Like that just every time I think about it completely blows my mind. <laughs> and that's, that's very much Akashic, the way the Akashic works happening all the, at, at all times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, there, there's, um, oh my gosh, the, uh, I forget what it's called, but there's a, a Kabbalah thing that all, all the power that ever is or will be is here now. Like all, all time is now. And it's, yeah, it's, yeah. It, it is mine. It's a trip <laughs> to, you know, to, to wrap my brain around. Yeah, And then, you know, like why we can ask in the Akasha, like, why did someone die? Mm hmm. You know, what was the purpose of that? Yeah. And, and there's, you know, their soul may have been very old. Even if, when they were born, mm. their soul might yeah. have been a thousand years old. And so they were completing their mission. Yeah. It's... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> good stuff. It's good stuff to, to chew on for sure. <laughs> awesome. Um, well, cool. Well, all right. Thank you so, so much. And thanks for the extra yeah. time. And, and You're all welcome. That. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Um, thanks, Matthew. Cool. I'll post your... Yeah, right. thank you. I'll post your information in, in the video. And to everybody who's watching, thank you so much. That's, this is Siri Brooke Thornton. 
and it's been my pleasure. Have a great day. My pleasure too. My honor. Thank you. Okay, bye. Bye. bye.